A tense row has broken out between the UK and the SNP-led Scottish Government over claims Scotland were excluded from a UK-wide app due to differences in operating systems. Scottish ministers declined an offer to join a COVID vaccine passport app used in England and Wales before opting to set up their own £600,000 alternative, which has been hit by glitches. This is because the Scottish Government said they were told by UK government officials that it would take at least 12 months to get access to the NHS login required for the NHS app. Dot. But today, the UK government disputed the claims and said it made clear additional work was needed to determine a more accurate timescale. The rollout of the scheme has been branded disastrous, following its first weekend of implementation which left long queues of revellers outside late-night venues north of the border. Thousands of Scots were unable to enter nightclubs after struggling to access records to prove they are double vaccinated. Glasgow nightclub owner Donald MacLeod, said, the vast majority of punters were unable to access the app or show the required proof. This is an appalling shambles which, if allowed to continue, will have a devastating effect on the very fragile nighttime economy. In a statement issued on Saturday, the Nighttime Industries Association, the industry body which represents Scottish nightclubs, slated SNP ministers over the disastrous launch. The NTIA went to the court of session in a bid to halt the vaccine passport scheme on Thursday but were unsuccessful. Chairman Mike Greaves said the vaccine passport scheme was discriminatory because people without a passport or driving license were unable to use the app and described it as a fundamentally flawed policy. He added, we've said repeatedly that the policy was going to meet with real difficulty for operators and that uptake amongst the cohort that the government seeks to coerce into uptaking the vaccine is not going to be affected by this. We don't agree with the imposition of a vaccine passport in the first place, but if there is to be a vaccine passport then it shouldn't be applied to one small sector of the economy, it should not be simply applied to late-night hospitality and it should not be focused purely on double vaccination. Jackie Bailey MSP, Deputy Leader of Scottish Labour, said, It's remarkable the SNP has failed so catastrophically and produced an app that's not fit for purpose. They must fix it immediately. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.